I know. You guys are probably like, hell has frozen over. Jeremy is posting two videos in a week. Well, before you give me too much credit, this is gonna be really short. I hope it's gonna be really short. I'm gonna try to keep this under five minutes. If you know me, that's gonna be a tall order. I don't think I've ever kept a video under five minutes. We're gonna try nevertheless. I just wanted to jump on here real quick to give you guys a first look at some really cool new pins coming out from Big Idea Design. This is not a sponsored video. I just really love Big Idea Design. I love those guys, they're really good people. They have a great company and they put out some really top-notch products. So I wanted to help spread the word on these products, but this is not a paid video. So most of you are probably familiar with Big Idea Design, but if you're not, they're a really cool company that makes a lot of EDC gear. You may know them best though for their pins. They make a pretty impressive lineup of EDC pins. The two we're gonna talk about today though are the TI Click EDC and the Pocket Pro. Really awesome options for EDC pins. Full titanium, just bulletproof, really, really nice pins. They also come in like a full black color. If I'm not mistaken, they also offer them like a raw finish, which is like a shinier version of this. I carry this Pocket Pro all the time in my Hitch and Timber proper slip because it's nice and compact, just fits right in there really good. The only downfall for me with these pens is they only offered them in titanium. And hold on, before you titanium guys that love titanium burn me at the stake, I love titanium too. I have a titanium carry. In my titanium carry, I carry a big idea design pen. So I love titanium, don't get me wrong. But I also really, really love brass and copper. And unfortunately, they did not offer a brass or copper option. If you are a brass and copper guy such as myself, the EDC gods have answered your prayers. The new pins they're releasing are the TI Click and the Pocket Pro in brass and copper. Oh, if you hear the angel sing, the bright halo of light coming. <laughs> Brass, copper, and leather are all really popular things in the EDC world today, and there's a good reason for that. It is cool stuff. It only gets better with age. It all patinas up really nicely. It makes it very personalized to you. The patina that I put on a pen is gonna be different than the patina you put on a pen because I hold a pen different. I carry it differently, which is gonna wear the pen, and the patina is gonna be custom to you, which I think is really cool. It kind of tells us story about how you use it. Generally speaking, the only way to get a good patina is to use your sh So it shows that you use your gear. Leather, for instance, the only way you get this shiny, dark kind of thing going on leather is to actually carry it. It tells a story and it only gets better and better with time. So I'm so, so happy that they came out with these in brass and copper. Brass, copper, and leather go together in your EDC like peanut butter and jelly. It goes together like if you say pizza and pineapple, I swear I will lose my right here on this channel. <laughs> you guys out there that eat pineapple on pizza, I can, you just turn this off. I can't even talk to you people. I need an old priest and a young priest. You need to be like exercised or something. There's something wrong with y'all. Pineapple should not go on pizza. <laughs> Just kidding, it's your pizza, eat it however the heck you like. They're the same great pins as the previous versions. But in case you're not familiar, let's hit a couple things real quick. The brass, full brass construction, copper, full copper construction. They do have titanium clips. The click has a silent click mechanism which is really kind of awesome. It was kind of weird at first, I'm gonna admit, the first time I got it and used it, I was like, is this thing broke? It kind of weirded me out a little bit, but after you use it for a minute, you realize it is the greatest thing ever because a lot of people fidget with their pins and they do this and it annoys the ever-loving crap out of people. This, you can just fidget. Just barely makes any noise, virtually silent. So you can fidget away and not have to worry about just pissing everybody in the room off. They are both auto adjusting to the refill you put in. These things take like 100 plus different types of refills. They just screw right off on these. They come with these Schneider gel inserts. The refill that I actually prefer to use is these Pilot V5s. There's nothing worse than really, really liking a pen and it doesn't take the refill that you like. Really cool that you could put just about any refill on these guys. One thing I will point out a difference of, the old Pocket Pros had a slightly more aggressive grip area than the Clicks did. They've changed this out now and the new Pocket Pros have the same texture as the Clicks. They also have auto adjusting collets. I think they're called, or collets, collets. I think they're called collets, which prevents tip wiggle. Because we all hate when our tip wiggles. 
That's all I'm gonna say on that. <laughs> it's gonna move right along. And all of their stuff comes with a lifetime warranty, which is awesome. If you're familiar with the old lineup, you're gonna be real, real familiar and comfortable with these. Same great pins, just in these new awesome finishes that I'm so happy they finally came out with. You can do some interesting different finishes on these. You can do forced patinas, and I've seen guys do like ammonia baths and vinegars and salts and stuff to put these green and blues. I'm actually pretty sure Taylor with Best Damn EDC is gonna do some videos on doing some stripping patinas off, forcing patinas, and doing different things with these. So keep an eye out for his video on that. Right now they do have a Kickstarter campaign going on these. So I will put a link down below. If you order through the Kickstarter campaign, and you get the pins early before everybody else. And also there's usually some pretty good discounts baked into some different packages and stuff that you can get. If these pins are something you're interested in, definitely click the link I'm gonna put below and go check out their Kickstarter campaign they've got going. So that's it guys. That's gonna wrap this one up. Kind of a quick first look of these brand new brass and copper pins coming out from our good friends over at Big Idea Designs. Hopefully I got this thing knocked out in around five minutes. I don't know if I did. I, until I get to editing, I, it, it's, pro, it's highly doubtful. It's, I, I'm pretty horrible at not talking a lot. If I'm, if I'm being honest with myself. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed this video today, guys. If you did, feel free to smash that like button. That always helps us out. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. We'd love to have you on board. I hope everybody is having a fantastic week and we will see you in the next video. Tip for the